Going to talk about integrated coconut and fish farming. This is a unique farming system that combines the benefits of coconut and fish farming, creating a sustainable and profitable farming system. In this video, we'll show you how to create an integrated coconut and fish farming system step by step. Part 1. Why integrated coconut and fish farming is beneficial first. Let's talk about why integrated coconut and fish farming is so beneficial. This system combines the benefits of both farming methods, making it more sustainable, productive, and profitable. Coconut trees provide shade and a protective canopy for the fish ponds, reducing the water temperature and preventing excessive algae growth. At the same time, fish farming creates nutrient-rich water that can be used to fertilize the coconut trees, boosting their growth and yield. Part 2. Setting up the coconut farm to set up an integrated coconut and fish farming system, you first need to establish the coconut farm. Select a suitable site with well-draining soil and access to water. Plant the coconut trees at a spacing of 7 to 8 meters apart to allow sufficient sunlight and air circulation. Irrigate the coconut trees regularly and fertilize them using organic methods. Part 3. Setting up the fish pond next, set up the fish pond adjacent to the coconut farm. The size and shape of the pond will depend on the number of fish you plan to raise. The pond should be deep enough to provide adequate water volume for the fish and should have proper water circulation. To keep the water clean, you may need to use aeration and filtration systems. Part 4. Connecting the two systems now that you have established the coconut farm and fish pond, it's time to connect the two systems. You can use a gravity-fed irrigation system to channel the nutrient-rich water from the fish pond to the coconut farm. This water will provide the necessary nutrients for the coconut trees and help to boost their growth and yield. Part 5. Maintaining the integrated system to maintain the integrated coconut and fish farming system. It's important to monitor the water quality in the fish pond and adjust the feeding and stocking rates accordingly. You should also regularly prune the coconut trees to ensure that they do not overgrow and shade the fish pond too much. Additionally, keep an eye out for pests and diseases and take appropriate measures to control them. That's it. You now know how to set up an integrated coconut and fish farming system. This farming system offers many benefits, including increased productivity, sustainability, and profitability. By combining the two farming methods, you can create a closed-loop system that maximizes the use of resources and minimizes waste. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this video helpful.